guys! Welcome back to our channel. For today's episode, I'll show you how to import wallet and MetaMask. Let's begin! So, say for example, you want to import a wallet um, in MetaMask. Like it can be, you know, um, transferring to another device. Or you can actually own multiple wallets wherein you could import that on the same, you know, um, same uh, app. So you don't need to actually just just create another account wherein you know you need to have like different MetaMask. No, you can basically have you know multiple wallets within MetaMask, and it's easy to do that. So first, I will show you the option where to import a wallet. So you go to um, upper left portion of the page. There's like three lines, right? So once you hit on that. You would be uh, able to see this one. So there's, there's an arrow there. Just click on that. And then once you see that, you would be able to see options, create new account, import an account, or connect to a hardware wallet. So obviously, we want to import an account. Just hit on that. Now, if you are on this page, it's asking you to paste your private key string. So take note that each wallet has unique private key string that will work as your um, security code that you need to put for you to import your wallet. So once you have that, you just need to paste that here and then you import and there would be like few questions that you need to fill in or a few information you need to fill in just more of like authorization just to ensure that, you know, your importing of, you know, of, of your wallet is secured. Now, where do we get our private key? Simple. When you go there, and um you know you can locate your private key through settings and um, when you go to security and privacy you scroll down you will be able to see your private key in this in this um, area now of course just for security reasons i'm not going to show you but as part of this tutorial i'm just going to show you where you'll find that once you put your password here, once you hit on next, you will be able to retrieve your private key. And that's what you need to paste in there to import your account. So I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, please hit a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.